Here we have Christina and Mom. I, yeah. I'll refer yeah. you as Mom. <laughs> And uh, Christina, you're 19? Yeah, I'm 19. And uh, you have had this long-standing problem of having vision in one eye much poorer than the other eye. Yeah. And not mm -hmm. having a depth reception. And yeah. I have your success story, which is amazing. Yeah. But what I wanted to address for a moment with Mom is how you got here and what your perception is about what had happened in the past and what's happening now. Sure. Uh, Christina was diagnosed when she was five with amblyopia and at that time we were told that the best course of treatment for her would be eye patching for three to four hours a day, patching her good eye which in turn would strengthen her weak eye. So we did it up to age nine and at that point we were told that that was it, that her eyesight could get no better so there was nothing else that we could do for her so we stopped patching. I was very upset about it because I just felt there had to be something else that could be done for her. I can't imagine that, you know, this was going to be her eyesight for life. So, um, backing up, I guess, about a year ago, two friends of ours told us about this program about vision therapy, and I called immediately, and it has been miraculous. I cannot say enough. I mean, I'm getting emotional just talking about it because to be told that your child's eyesight can never get better, and then to come here and find out since January that her eyesight has gotten so much better and to hear her say that she has vision across her whole face instead of just half it's incredible I, I can't say enough about this uh, it's just remarkable and uh, it, it's obviously somewhat upsetting that you it, it's not like you were given the advice well you could make further gains but you'd have to put a lot of effort into it you were simply told uh, nothing further can be nothing. done. By two doctors, not just yeah. one. My doctor that I had been seeing since I was a teenager, as well as my parents, my parents had also been to this practice, and then Christina's pediatric doctor. Also, they both told us the same thing, to just stop patching because there is nothing else that you can do for her. Mm -hmm. This is as good as her eyesight will ever get. So, quite honestly, I'm angry now, knowing that for 10 years this existed and I didn't know about it. And we regularly go to have our eyes checked. It's not as if we haven't been around, you know, eye doctors since then. We have. Right. And so no aside way. from the euphoria, which is great, because mm -hmm. I, I, I'm as euphoric as you are about the progress that you've made, mm -hmm. what, in retrospect, do you feel, or even today, what can we collectively do to create more awareness? How do we help folks or kids like Christina from getting what was bad advice essentially or, mm -hmm. or maybe was good advice years ago maybe but is out of date so a, as a parent or as a 19 soon to be 20 year old mm -hmm. what do you do now you know is it a social media thing is it uh you know you as a parent obviously you got good advice from friends of yours yes so you tell me and this will we'll close with this what mm -hmm. do we do well, I think that it, the more people talk about it, the better it is. I think people need to talk about it, and I've been doing it. I mean, you know, I'm one person, but I've been telling everybody. Now, everybody. here's an interesting point. Did you ever consider going back to the ophthalmologist that told I'm you nothing? I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Now, the one I can't because he's relocated, but the other one I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to and telling him it's four doctors actually in the practice. And I'm bringing Christina because, you know what, I can say it, but here's the proof sitting right here. So I think she, that's perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. what needs to be done. And I think yeah. word needs to not only get around from patients, but among doctors also. Because it's a good mm -hmm. practice. They're good doctors. It's right. not that they ever try to mislead us. It's just that I guess it's not a course of treatment that they're familiar with. Therefore, they don't recommend it. But here's the result sitting here. Mm -hmm. I mean, she. Mm -hmm. this is miraculous that she has yeah. this eyesight now. I mean, to hear her say what she has said to me that... Her dan she's a dancer, her dancing has improved her, now she's driving again, which she had stopped because she didn't have the confidence because she didn't have the depth perception. She's driving again, she can actually see the right side of the road. It's, it's really a miracle. From your mouth to ophthalmologist's ears. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for taking oh, the time. Thank you. Thank you.